can you please give me a basic gist about all the machines that you have made you relaunched today so what we are showing here is our newest entrant ed mill which is the compact small size milling machine purely for education it can cut uh, materials like aluminum brass uh, plastics acrylic and wood as uh, we are showing the demonstration so this is uh, a beautiful equipment uh, from a learning perspective where someone can start producing parts in an actual uh, 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 environment and in, like an industrial setup we also have a simulator that's being launched so normally people are not industry ready so students or anyone who's getting uh, into manufacturing so what a cnc simulator does is get a real life experience for the learners for the students to so once they use it all the programming can be learned on the simulator and here what we have is a uh, laser powder bed fusion metal 3d printer one of its first first of its kind where an industrial grade metal printer is being made made ready for an education setup so how are these machines specifically designed to enhance the user's experience first thing is it's very user friendly when i say student friendly so people can study i mean make use of their own courses that they've learned and put that to use here very easily without having to worry about uh, the complex programming or the other aspects of it both in all our products that's the key aspect here and this is largely to make it uh, industry I mean, make students industry ready so the idea is there's a big gap between what students learn in theory and what industry needs from a practical perspective this is made largely to bridge that gap how are these machines going to integrate with the existing systems current systems that are there are largely conventional they've been they're very ar archaic I mean, if you look at a lot of the education institutions, especially engineering colleges, have products which are nearly 25, 30 years old. But what we are doing here is making it accessible and more affordable. So that's the idea. So it will blend in very well. Today, people are being given a lot of emphasis for investing in technology. So this is what is going to be suiting, helping them learn faster and be industry ready much more sooner. Is Amaze doing anything apart from these machines to bridge those gaps we are doing a lot of awareness building activities we engage with education institutions we work on uh, uh, vocational training we work on skill development courses we conduct workshops we deliver seminars bulk of our effort in these past years have gone completely in awareness building a lot of us don't understand how the technology works how the product works and we've been trying to uh, get trainers to be trained and then see how they can go ahead and further train the students in using this technology. So Amaze's job has been in bringing a good awareness in metal 3D printing adoptability. R&D and uh, how are you in integrating R&D with the learning and innovation? Innovation is the key for all development. So we have we have done a lot of work. I mean, in fact, this is completely made in India by Indians for India and actually to the world. So uh, uh, R&D is our own backbone. So we have we are very strong in innovation. So we have collaborated with a lot of education institutions for our own learning. So we've worked with many, uh, uh, many universities, both in India and abroad, to accelerate our own learning and to give back to the university. So we believe this technology has to co-evolve co and develop with R&D effort from both academia and industry. How are these machines going to personalize the experience of students? The advantage is uh, the user interface is uh, developed by us. So it's very user friendly. So we made sure that uh, we can have personalized screens. Any any university wants individualization of the screen, the touch feel of it. It can be completely done. We can have access control. We provide enough information in terms of the utilization, the build reports, and all the aspects that is relevant. So all we need is just the 3D model to give it as an entry, and students can get to use it very comfortably and put that to uh, uh, their best imagination. So all their dreams. All their imaginations, creativity can be put into reality by printing them on our machines. What is the broader vision of Amaze with the launch of these machines? See, this this uh, technology has largely been a Western one. India has been one of the laggards in adopting these technologies. We've always been a little slow in adopting to some of the newer technologies. Today, if you look at some of the more most advanced uh, uh, industrial techno, I mean industries who are adopting technologies, be it space tech, aviation, medical. They are the ones who are using this technology in a large scale. There's a big gap in understanding how students can see the, if this, uh, you, uh, this technology can be put to use as soon as they are out of universities. So our intention is by making these available, adoptable and uh, affordable at university levels, we strongly believe India, we would like to accelerate the whole utilization of this technology across India and make sure that not only students, but startups and many other manufacturers start using this. Our goal is when the transition starts happening from uh, conversion 
of a lot of conventional manufacturing to using 3D printing, where there's going to be mass customization, mass individualization, and more uh, distributed manufacturing. India has to be ready for uh, using adaptive uh, addit additive manufacturing for this solution. And we as AS Micromatic Group should have all the necessary technologies to give it to the market and to the country. Sir, and since you're present here at Didec Expo, what is the vision, like what is the significance of this expo for AMAS? All happens at school, right? So we all have to make sure that at the foundation level, if we have the learning, the intention strong, then I think when students come out, they will they will be much more profound to start using newer technology. So our, our belief is uh, not only at an industry level, we should be working on technology, but at an education level. Once we know the students are well equipped, well knowledgeable, uh, good with good knowledge about how new technologies work, then they'll be mar far more equipped to uh, adopt to newer uh, ways and newer trends in technology. So we feel education is where it should all start from. And fortunately, now we are seeing a big trend in India and a good growth in uh, adopting to new technologies. P uh, universities are investing. There's a lot of emphasis for skill development and uh, learning in the country. The government is giving a lot of emphasis amongst uh, for educators to invest in newer technologies. So we believe we should be available to make technologies uh, uh, in multiple places.